Hello everyone and welcome back to another one of our full videos. In this video, I will walk you through our plan regarding the Street Foundation and the decisions that we had to make along the way. The pool will be 6 feet deep at the deep end and 4 feet deep at the shallow end. At first, uh, I thought of cutting the blocks to match uh, the slope of the pool, but uh, that was going to take very long. I also had no experience uh, building block walls, so I opted for a stepped foundation. The stepped foundation would have uh, an additional cost of blocks at the deep end. The step uh, in the foundation would be 8 inches high, the same height as the blocks. That way, the second course would go all the way around the pool as if uh, there was a strip foundation going all the way around the pool. First step was to set the level of the strip foundation to make sure the deep end would be six feet deep and also make sure the corners were square. To make it easier to measure the height uh, at different spots, I marked um, seven feet on a one by one piece of wood uh, with a permanent marker. Uh, this meant I did not have to walk around with a measuring tape every time I needed to measure the height at different spots.
formed uh, the strip foundation in the deep end only. I used uh, two by fours on both sides of the strip foundation. The foundation itself is uh, two and a half inches high and 12 inches wide so that it leaves uh, two inches on each side of the wall because the concrete blocks are eight inches wide. For the rest of the foundation, I compressed the soil as hard as I could and poured uh, the concrete directly into the trench all the way around and uh, leveled it uh, the best way. I inch uh, pipe under the strip foundation at the deep end that I could use to connect the pipes uh, for the main drains. Uh, the, pipe I, the pipes I had ordered uh, for the pool were about a week late and uh, we could not shop inside the stores during the pandemic so we had to find a way to make it work. For the concrete, uh, I used uh, Sacrete concrete mix uh, from Home Depot and uh, mixed it in a wheelbarrow. Uh, the wheelbarrow made it easier to move it around uh, at, and pour it at different spots of the foundation. And uh, it also allows you to mix uh, and mix it well if you're using a shovel or whatever it is that you're using to mix it. Uh, I used uh, a total of uh, 23 out of the 25 bags that I had estimated we would need for the strip foundation. I added uh, 10 millimeter reba all around uh, the strip foundation and joined uh, all the pieces together with binding wire. Uh, it took uh, me about uh, four hours uh, to mix the concrete and pour the whole strip foundation. Uh, once I finished pouring the concrete, it took about two hours for it to be firm to the touch. Um, to help uh, the concrete cure properly, uh, I watered it uh, once or twice every day, depending on how sunny the day was. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Please like the video, subscribe to our channel and leave any comments that you may have or questions in the comment section and we will respond to them. See you on the next video. Bye.